Up next on Elusive Kev TV, we've got more coverage from Season 2 of Formula X vs. Time Round 16 in K-Pop Country. Hey, I'm Kev Kerr, Mr. Kern. Yes, I'm back with more coverage from Season 2 of Formula X Sports. This is the penultimate episode and... In the Ferrari, I did qualify, but I just cruised round, I had a terrible lap. So I'm 11th out of 12 drivers on the grid. And look at that name at the top again, R-S-T-R-M with Chicken Macaroon just behind him, Brandon. And K Gibbs F1 with Justin Major rounding out the top five, well done to him. And then in the race, I don't have many highlights, sadly. It was quite a boring race for me. I was quite near the back as well. Career, not one of my favourite circuits, but this was kind of dictated by... The early laps, as now we have 14 players, so a couple disconnected from qualifying. And, as you can see, in the Ferrari, trying to get a good start on the outside. We've got our enemy now, our nemesis, for the second half of the season, Cartman, right alongside us. But, as you can see, going into the first course, and corner a bit cautious here. And we let the Williams and HRT through, but there's a spin in front for a McLaren. That is Cartman, I think. That has been spun round and now, oh, Hybrid loses it into the right-hand wall and Hamilton found barges his way through down the left-hand side. But we didn't quite have enough slipstream to get past him into the next corner, unfortunately, as he defends a bit there, as you can see. But going on to that three now and Cartman's worked his way in front of us, but Rio White on his tail, virtually pushing him through the first corner. But now it's DRS land. We can go down this back straight, have our DRS, have a bit of curves as well to maybe sweeten the deal here and maybe get past him before turn three. But it looks like we're not really catching up to another Claren, even though we've got our straight line speeds maxed out with these low wing settings. But he's outbraked himself even more than we did. And now we rejoin the track, use a bit of curves maybe to get past. Yes, we're up to temp spot. Now we've got roll reversal. Next lap, Cartman's right on my tail. And we're going into that corner again. Again, we outbreak ourselves. Slightly, he gets a better corner. Look at that, almost virtually pushing us on the exit. And he's now got a run on our outside. He's got some curves going on. We've got some curves going on. But we're defending hard into turn four now, I think this is. But look at him breaking deep around the outside. But, oh, was that a bit of a lag hit? I don't know. I, I wasn't sure what to do, actually. I, I defended. And so, seeing as he didn't really complain and nobody really complained it on either side, it seemed like it was just a lag hit. It wasn't no one's fault. But as you can see, pitting on... Lap 6 now, 8 out of 13. We've got a little fighting going ahead of us. So just like Japan pitting, once we catch up to a fight, you know, saving us some time as well. But we do have to change the front ring after some early instance. But as you can see, I was on the prime tyres. Now we're on the soft tyres. And we've got Cartman right in our tail tracks. Following us out on pit lane. Exit where there is a car on the exit as well. I think that is... Hamilton fan, yeah, we jumped Hamilton fan in the pits. We're up to ninth place out of 13, so not bad for us. And we jump ahead to lap 8, where we're trying to build a gap on Cartman behind me. We're trying to catch the gap to drastic midget ahead, even though it's quite a big gap. So we're really pushing hard on these option tyres, which really suits us, you know, much faster. But we're losing the back end a bit there, and there's a good fight in mind behind between Cartman and Hamilton fan. Then we go to lap 11, and... Into turn three, not my favourite corner of this race. Once again, going right into it. And then the next up again. We, yeah, just, just go wide. There we go. And so, yeah, it was quite a boring second half of the race. But it got interesting towards the end as we caught up the Jurassic Midget and Jackin Macaroon fighting hard in front for eighth and seventh spot. And we just ran out of time to maybe make a move. Around. Even though we get really close to Jurassic Midget near the end. Look at this. If... We didn't go too wide in that last corner there. Maybe we could have got a little run to him. We picked him at the line. But we again, second race in a row, close finish. And we have lost out this time to Drastic Midget and Chicken Macaroon. But ninth place, I will take that. And so, yeah, that's my highlights of career. I've only got Brazil left the show. And that will be out tomorrow, hopefully. So, thanks for watching. So, till then, cheerio.